So hello and welcome to the Rostin video where today I'm going to be talking about the history of my cameras, where it all started and where I am today. So back quite a while ago now, I got this, a Panasonic DMC FS7, which realistically I wish was an FS7, but it isn't. Which This was my first camera and it's when I first discovered that video was a thing. I found the motion picture feature on it and started recording videos and uploading them to my old channel, which I'll leave a link in the description, Spitty1500. So I recorded 480p at 30fps, which realistically is pretty poor quality today. And that's where it all started really, and then from there, I had a old Sony camcorder, which was the family's, which I borrowed, which was kind of an interesting thing. It took one megapixel photos. It had a built-in 60 gigabyte hard drive. That's right, hard drive built in, and it shot at 864p. What a weird resolution, but hey, that's what it shot at. And I got a couple of videos out of that, but I was never really happy with the quality that came from that nor was I really happy with what came out of the Lumix. And that's when then I sort of realised I could take the photos and video off my iPod and use them for YouTube videos. So that's where I went on to next. When I got my iPod 4th gen, which shot 720 at 30 FPS, that's when sort of the quality got upped quite dramatically. And with that, I was then editing the video in iMovie on my iPad. So it was a pretty basic setup and very simple and I was using a free app I found for doing my intros and they were just very basic videos which again were over on my Spitty1500 channel which I'll leave linked in the description. So then sort of a few years down the line I didn't make some videos for a while and it sort of I wanted to start it again. So I kicked off this channel, I think I was still on my iPod but shortly into that I then got my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 which shot 1080p finally. Uh, it also did shoot 4K but my laptop couldn't handle sort of the resolution so I never really shot at it because I couldn't edit it at all. And sort of around this time I also picked up my SJ4000 which was my first action camera. So cheap, pretty poor 1080p but it got the job done and it was pretty good for some secondary shots which I used in videos like modding my drone which are all still on this channel and shortly after this I then actually upgraded my editing software after having enough with iMovie sort of continual crashes stupid features that never really work I got Premiere Elements which is still pretty poor but it's quite a bit way up there from Movie Maker and that sort of stepped up my production quality quite a bit sort of the first 1080p DSLR that I shot on was a Canon 100D, uh, which is very similar to this camera, but it was in the DSLR form factor. And again, that was the families that I was borrowing and shooting my videos on, and then editing on my old Acer laptop, which just about pumped out 1080p. And that's sort of then where I came to this camera, the EOS M10, which has the same sensor as the 100D, but it's in a mirrorless body and then I've obviously got an EOS M to EF lens adapter for shooting with all my lenses. And that's sort of where I've come to with my camera gear and I've sort of then added my LED light which is lighting me and my Rode Video Micro which is what you're hearing me through um, recently which is really again up to the quality even further. And also as you might be able to see from some of the clips in this uh, video that I've made, I've been starting to use Motion 5 over on the Mac, which has really sort of added some good titles and it's good fun to have a go and learn with. Don't get me wrong, it's very complicated and I'm still learning all the features, but I am getting there so one day hopefully we'll have some brilliant visual effects coming onto this channel. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I think this shows you that you can start off with even the basic of cameras. Like this was a hundred quid I think back in its day and from there I've obviously progressed. I don't still have all the cameras because obviously I've had to sell them to buy other cameras. So that's pretty much where it's gone. I'll quickly show you a side by side comparison of the cameras I've got left which are obviously the Panasonic, the old Sony, uh, and then this, I think I also got my SJ in there as well, just as a little comparison between the four shots. And then back over on my main camera. So I sort of hope you've enjoyed this video, it sort of gives you an insight to where I've been with all my cameras. So thank you for watching, please subscribe for more content, drop a like rating below and if you've got any questions, comment below as well.